Ah, the MCU, aka the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So before it blew up in popularity and everyone was all over it, I would have you know that I have been here since that incredible hook and I have been watching all of the MCU movies, so suck on it. I was one of the OG boys. So yeah, everyone, um, the conclusion to, not the MCU obviously, but the entire Avengers, uh, yeah, basically all the Avengers movies well that's what everyone most likely thinks and if they made another Avengers movie it'd become dumb so yeah everyone this is the conclusion to um I want to say trilogy but not really the uh basically four movies uh involving the Avengers and this is just like a huge uh I don't know how to put it basically like it's it feels like a finale but it's not a finale in a way if you get what I mean however it does change basically everything we know in the MCU um I don't know it's just yeah it's crazy so um I just want to say that I've loved the MCU I've been here since the Incredible Hulk and um I've been watching all the MCU movies I've been following the storyline and it wasn't until 2014 uh when I really got into the MCU I mean I've been watching the MCU movies beforehand but I wasn't really like a huge fan of the MCU but then I really started getting involved and it started getting really complex and all of them like started connecting and all that and yeah I think that the MCU is amazing they've always had great movies even the worst movies such as I don't know um Door, Door 2, uh, The Incredible Hulk aren't even really bad. Uh, Door 2 is just boring, Door is boring, and The Incredible Hulk is just weird, but they're not really bad at all. Um, so yeah, everyone, and now with that said, let me talk about uh, Infinity War. So uh, last year, I reviewed Infinity War, well, not last year, nine months ago to be exact. Um, I reviewed Infinity War and gave my thoughts on it, and I thought it was good. I thought it was uh, a pretty great movie. I did feel the pacing was a little too fast, but I uh, barely enjoyed it. So that raises the question, is this a good successor to Infinity War? Yes. So involving spoilers, I will not start spoiling the movie before I actually get to the spoiler section. Um, so I will let you know and give you a warning before I start talking about spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, you're good for right now. So I just want to talk about the CGI. This is obviously nothing to brag about with MCU uh, when it comes to CGI because it, it's always amazing. I mean, I, I, that's real what I said, uh, brag, like nothing to brag about. Um, I didn't mean that in a bad way. I meant that it it's to be expected at this point like the CGI and all these MCU movies is just incredible I mean they're godly I mean they do really have a ginormous budget but that doesn't change the fact that the visuals cinematography and CGI is just perfect in this film uh, and now the characters the characters are the ones that you saw in the trailer everyone so I'm not spoiling anything uh, the characters are really great uh, all of them you know act like their usual selves they're going to um, they're basically going through the repercussions of what happened in Infinity War. It's really great to watch. All the characters react pretty interestingly to the turn of events. And I don't know. That's just the same old guys that we uh, grew to love and appreciate. And uh, yeah, that's basically what the characters. And the comedy in this movie, surprisingly, is great. It's actually really amazing the comedy in this movie is awesome there was never a joke where i didn't at least smile there were so many jokes in this movie and they were all and they all looked really well and they weren't out of place either they all were pretty brilliant and i don't know i just love the comedy and uh the story i'm not going to talk about the story don't click off yet okay for those who haven't uh seen it yet uh, i'm going to talk about the story real quick i think the story is amazing in this film. The trailer didn't reveal much, but I just want to tell you guys that the story is perfect. Um, the way everything is handled and the way they go about things in this movie is flawless. I can't wait till I start talking about it in the spoiler section. I just think that this is a really good story. And the pacing in this movie is awesome. I, my only complaint of Infinity was that the pacing felt uh, like really fast. Like it was like zoom we're here, zoom we're here, zoom this is happening. In this movie everything flows really well and I honestly really enjoyed it. 
And yeah, that's my review of Endgame, everyone. And I would give this a 5 out of 5 must-see. This film is amazing. It's a great capping-off point for the uh, Avengers story arc. I just think that it's it's amazing. It's awesome. It's a worthy finale to the Avengers series. And yeah, and I really hope they don't make another Avengers movie because that's going to make this review horribly outdated. <laughs> but yeah, I think that this is... a uh, pretty great uh movie and it's a really great sequel to infinity war and the way they handle things it's just amazing so yeah if you haven't seen this movie yet stop watching this review and get off of youtube right now before you get spoiled like i did um but yeah i hope you guys uh who uh, aren't staying um enjoyed this review and i will see you guys next time all right everyone spoilers in five four three two one okay here we go so basically uh, the way that this plot works is that after all of them are really depressed about losing everyone, um, Ant-Man returns to the Quantum Zone and he explains to them how the Quantum Zone works and they're like, wait a minute, we could use this to time travel to gain the Infinity Stones before Thanos does and then use it to snap and bring everyone back. And yeah, that, that's, that's basically what they're doing in the movie that time. They're getting the Infinity Stones and... I, I liked it. I actually really enjoyed it. I love... So basically, they actually go back to old Marvel movies. They went back to the first Avengers. They went back to Captain America. They went back to Guardians of the Galaxy. They went back to so many different MCU movies. I, I was watching this with my sisters, and I kept on leaning over and being like, Hey, hey. This is, this is the Avengers movie. <laughs> like, I kept on telling them uh, what like, what movies it was, because I was just really having a blast. It was it was really nice sense of nostalgia for old MCU fans, and I thought it was really great. And, yeah, I, the time travel is used pretty well. This doesn't steal what time travel, how time travel works and all the other movies. In fact, it actually makes fun of it. It makes fun of films like Back to the Future um, and all that. It's basically um, just a film... Well, uh, the time travel works in its own way, and, per se, and I just liked how it works. And now it's time for the subvertation of expectations, Star Wars fans' favorite words. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, the subversion of expectations in this film was amazing. Everything you think is gonna happen doesn't happen. Thanos dies within the first 10 minutes of this movie, and it's really cool. I was like, whoa! And this isn't like episode 8, where they kill off, uh, villains that were interesting and all that, and they basically subvert your expectations, and just say that the movie is instantly brilliant just because it does that, even though it sacrifices key story elements in order to do that. No, this movie subverts the expectations, but still like pulls off a better story than the one you had cooked up in your mind. It's really great, and, um, Thanos. Thanos is awesome. I like Thanos' return in this movie. So basically, after he dies, he comes back back but his old self comes back and i just thought he uh i, I think it was cool how they handled it because the new thanos has no motivation he had nothing left to do so they killed him but the old thanos has everything left to do so i thought it was a nice way of keeping the same villain for two movies and thanos is a really great villain and having him be the main threat for everyone especially since they were uh, hyping him up in the last uh mcu movies before infinity war so yeah, I thought it was great how they brought him back. And now, the deaths. Oh boy. So, Black Widow, Iron Man, and Thanos dies in this movie. And, Black Widow, I love Black Widow. I thought she was really cool, but her death, strangely, didn't really make me that sad. I mean, I thought she was cool and all, and I liked her, but I wasn't really sad when she died. Her death wasn't really sad if you know what I mean. I liked how it involved Hawkeye and her trying to be the first one to sacrifice themselves for the Soul Stone. I thought that was pretty nice, but I don't know. I didn't really feel that bad for Black Widow. And now for Thanos' death scene. Um, Thanos, I was sad to see him go, but, I mean, obviously he's the main villain. We're supposed to be glad to see him go, but I like Thanos. I thought he was really cool, and the way he's defeated, and the way how, like, whenever Iron Man snaps with the new Infinity Gauntlet, and everyone is disappearing around him, he just sits down and just accepts defeat, and then we just watch that he slowly fades away. That's... That's a pretty cool death scene. I like it. It reminds me of Ultron's death on how he kind of came into terms, but not really because he tried to attack Vision. I don't know. It was pretty dumb. But I, I liked Thanos' death. I thought it was pretty nice. 
And um, now the final death, Iron Man. Oh boy, this one was a real tear jerker. I was actually about to cry in the theater, but I didn't because number one, I was prepared for this. Okay, because I got spoiled on it. Um, Iron Man's death and the wreckage of Thanos' ship was the only scenes I got spoiled on for this movie. But yeah, I was I was still sad to see Iron Man go. I thought it was pretty sad and. Oh, and number two, the reason I was prepared for it is because we were all kind of expecting Iron Man to die. <laughs> I even said this in my last Infinity War review. Um, I was expecting Iron Man to die in Infinity War, and then they teased us with it, but then they were like, nah, not really. But then in this movie, he meets his end, and it's really more sad than I thought it was. The entire theater was crying, I was about to cry, it was really heartbreaking. Um, the reason why is because uh, Tony Stark has been here for so long. And he has such connections to all these characters. He was the first superhero to get his own movie in the MCU. He was the first movie in the MCU. We knew him for three movies. He was in the Avengers. He was in Spider-Man Homecoming. He was a great father figure to Spider-Man. He was my favorite character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I loved him. And I had an attachment to him. And just to see him go like that and die in such a dramatic way after snapping to destroy Thanos' army. And just dying in, like right in front of everyone. One and with like um, his girlfriend, I forgot her name, basically comforting him. It was just really sad, like so much sadder than I thought it would be. It was handled brilliantly, and then the funeral. He and by the way, guys, he has his own freaking daughter. Oh my god, this is all so insane. Yeah, everyone, I just, um, Iron Man's death was just heartbreaking to me. I, it was really heartbreaking. I'm still not over it. I'm, I'm still sad about it. Like, I don't know. It's just a death that's just so major and just so sad. I don't know. I really love Tony Stark in all these movies. And, yeah, I just, oh, man, he's just amazing. Iron Man, just long live Iron Man, every guys. Every, I mean, every guys, what? Everyone just, oh, man, I loved Iron Man. And, yeah, everyone, that was all I had to say about Endgame. It was a really amazing movie and easily one of my new favorite MCU movies. It was just so good. The stakes were high. The comedy is probably Guardians of the Galaxy level amount of humor. Like, I just loved the comedy. It worked so well. And, um... The deaths were really sad, the plot was great, the characters were handled amazingly. There's literally nothing wrong with this movie, and that's insane for a movie to pull off. There's actually no flaws I have of it. Not one. There's not one single flaw I have of this movie. It's just perfect. There are a few nitpicks here and there. Like, for instance, there was a scene where during the final climactic battle, Peter Parker at the Infinity Gauntlet, and he was like, Guys, what do we do? And then all the female superheroes just like got in front of him, and then they were like, Little Take care of it. And even Mantis was there, and Mantis doesn't have any superpowers. She can read people's minds, and I don't know, do some mind tricks, and I don't know, she can subdue people with her powers, but she can't do anything. But she was, even they shut her in there. I don't know, it felt really forced. Don't worry, I'm all for uh, women power when it comes to superhero stories, action stories. Uh, I, I really do think that they had right intentions with the scene. However, it was extremely forced. And it was kind of cringy just seeing it. I was like, ugh. The MCU hasn't really been one for being subtle when it comes to women power. Captain Marvel, for instance, that was basically an entire movie just saying women are amazing. And that was basically the entire movie. They're not really subtle with the way they um, portrayal. Ah, uh, portrayal? What? They're not really subtle with the way they portray, uh, like, super, like, girl power and all that, but. I think they had the right intentions, and the scene wasn't really that distracting. Uh, it didn't ruin the mo the final scene by any chance. I, I just thought it was just a little weird. But yeah, that's my that's literally my only nitpick with this movie. That's it. That's literally my only one. Everything everything else in this movie is perfect. Everything was perfect. The comedy was perfect. Action was perfect. Characters were perfect. Everything was great. Five out of five must see. Everyone, I don't care who you are, you have to see this movie. Uh, if you haven't seen Infinity War first, see that first. I don't care if you're a comic book fan. I don't care if you don't like superheroes. See Infinity War uh, and Endgame. I would say just see Endgame because I thought Infinity War was great, but not as good as this one. But you have to see Infinity War to, you know, understand Endgame. But, yeah, just watch those two movies. And for MCU fans, what are you doing? Watch it. How can you be a MCU fan not watch this already watch it right 
now the mcu deserves your money <laughs> after all the crap they just pulled off i think this movie was amazing five out of five so yeah everyone i hope you guys have enjoyed um this review if you have then please like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time peace everyone